Hello and welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we're taking a look at these pliers from Kinepex. These are the twin grip pliers. So you can see they come packaged in the cellophane wrap. It's just a little disappointing as I was expecting slightly better presentation, but in all fairness, it's not the presentation, it's the tool that counts more than the packaging. And as long as the tool's great, I'll be just fine. So what we get here is basically a set of updated, modern 21st century slip joint pliers. So we've got our grips. Now this is the, we'll call it the dipped grip. There's a comfort grip option available with the blue and red handles. I did not opt for that. I opted for just the basic grip. We've got a push button here. So these don't quite adjust by opening it up like this. Push the button like you would their pliers wrench and slide it over. And if you can see, there's a few different positions there. See if the camera can pick that up there. Uh, for the opening on your jaw, and then our jaws here are shaped a little differently than ordinary slip joint pliers. So we got some different sizes for, uh, for how it goes. If we open it up here like this, you can see the gripping pattern. Hopefully you can see that on camera there where we've got grooves that run left to right. At the very tip, we got grooves that run left to right, but also front to back. And if we close this up, it's gonna look a lot like the mouth of a fish. Hopefully you can see that there, where it looks like a fish. It'd be kind of funny to draw some eyes on this, but we've got this extra special feature here for that we can use to help remove fasteners by wrapping around the screw or the nail head or otherwise. So a little backstory, I've been a huge fan of slip joint pliers my entire life. It was probably the first tool I ever got handed as a kid and my parents kept them in their kitchen drawer. I've almost always have had slip joint pliers around me in some way shape or form. They're getting harder to find. They're going a little bit out of style. This is my current favorite pair. These are the Craftsman Professionals. And these are, I don't know, maybe eight, nine, 10 years old at this point. They've been long out of production from Western Forge, made in USA. Makes me very happy and proud to own these as a result. And these are fantastic pliers. But the problem is I can't just keep getting more of these. So a couple other options I've looked at, uh, primarily from Wild, which are made in Kansas. Uh, pliers, but I also want to go add a couple of tricks up my sleeve. So I look for these Nipex pliers from Germany. So just for comparison, if we lay these pliers side by side, these Nipex pliers from the end of the jaw to the end of the handle is just a hair over eight inches, call it about eight and a quarter inches long. These slip joint pliers here are just a hair under seven inches long. So a little bit longer for a little more leverage, as you can clearly see. If we look at the jaw on these, let me open these up all the way like that. And we'll lay those side by side if I slip open the jaw on the slip joint pliers. And you can see that we can get similar capacity. The only real difference between the two is when you open them all the way up like this. And you can see at that point, the slip, the Old fashioned slip joints do have a slightly wider capacity, but you're never using them in that configuration anyway. So that becomes kind of a moot point. So with these pliers like this, there's a couple other interesting things here. I would love to see more on how they actually design or manufacture these because the way these jaws interlock, I think is fascinating. And so clearly they've got some fun in their manufacturing process of slipping everything through uh, to be able to line up the push button and you got a spring metal on the back there to hold that in place. These do have the Nipex warranty, clearly stating also in the front, made in Germany. All right, so I've got a little test piece of wood here with a few different uh, fasteners here in place. First of all, we've got a, not quite a drywall screw, but I'll go ahead and use the fish lips on these pliers here, grip the front of the screw, like this. And then I can go ahead and unscrew the screw just like that. Obviously I could put the pliers the other way and turn it all the way around, but by going like this, it takes up a lot less space and gets me around other obstructions like other fasteners that are in place. So here's a little nail like you might use for hanging a, pic a picture. We're gonna go around it and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this all the way down, but you gotta be careful, tighten them all the way down. Some smaller fasteners will pull right through those jaws 
But this one was able to pull out just fine. So if you need to pull out some small nails out of a wall and you don't want to use a claw hammer, it's going to put that pressure back on the wall. You can just pull straight out. But you need to test first that the head of the nail is able to successfully get trapped in the jaws securely. But it, there's plenty of options here with the teeth, or you could even offset it in the jaw. So you've got plenty of options. Now here's a much thicker nail. This is more like a roofing nail. We'll open these up here a little bit wider. Wrap around the fastener like this. Pull it out. And so we've got some fun extra tricks with these Nipex pliers. So I'm curious if you've got any pairs of these Nipex uh, pliers like this, love them, hate them, have any other fun hacks to use these for, love to hear about it, put in the comments down below. If you enjoy videos like this, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day. Bye.